I am going to show you the best controller settings you can use right now to prepare yourself for FC25 as well as have a competitive edge in FC24. First and foremost, guys, there are some settings that are absolutely necessary to turn on. Okay. Short assistance, like I always say, precision or assisted, it is personal preference. There are many people in the comment section advocating for precision shooting. But again, like I said, I do not feel that it is worth the risk versus reward. Okay, this game is all about margins and I don't know about any top player that uses this. I always stick to assisted. That is it. But this is the key thing. Okay, guys, timed finishing, it must be on. As we are in July, nearing August, FC25 will be out, okay, very soon. And I know most of you playing FC24 are going to transition into FC25 as well. Then you need to use timed finishing. Most of my trainees aren't using timed finishing. It's not about just green timing the finish shot. I want you guys to practice time finishing so much that you are able to green time headers, green time any type of shot. It will give you a lot of edge and it will take your game to the next level. Since this game is all about the little margin, through pass assistance is going to be semi. You can keep it manual, but I don't like it. Semi is good. Lob through pass again, same as through pass. Okay, ground pass is going to be assisted. Sometimes I tell you guys to use semi ground pass assistance, right? If you feel like your passes aren't really connecting, you have some strict drift, then you should go for semi. Otherwise, go for assisted. And even in laggy gameplay, I feel semi is better than assisted because in assisted, for some reason, you get locked on to the wrong player if the gameplay is really bad. Talking about the gameplay, we will also talk about how you can actually make it a little bit better. You cannot fix it, but you can make it better for yourself. Cross assistance. Every year I used to use it at semi. This year I use it at assisted. Assisted crosses are really good. But if you want to cross like a pro, then I suggest you to check the tutorial I made on crossing. I will drop the link down below. Law pass assistance is going to be assisted as well. Pass receiver log, guys. Again. If you feel that your gameplay isn't really the best at times, then I would say put it at animation start. Okay. Otherwise, put it at late. What happens? Let's say I am aiming left. Okay. And I at the last moment change my pass to right. Then if I am on late, the pass will go to right. However, it will go to the left no matter what input I give afterwards once the animation has started. Right. Sometimes in delay, what happens is that we pass left. In delay, that can be challenging. You assume that the pass is going to travel quickly, but it doesn't travel quickly. And then you end up taking the wrong touch with the player simply because you are on late pass receiver lock. All right. So if you want to try it out, it's really good. I use it sometimes when I am having a lot of delay. Precision pass sensitivity. It is something I wasn't using at all at the start of the game, but it is something you must use. It is great. Lock precision pass is absolutely broken. R1 plus square for switches, R1 square for glitches, it is absolutely broken. I have made a video about it, which I will also drop down in the description box below. So if you put it on classic, it doesn't consider your directional input. So we don't want that. We want our clearances to go where we want them to go. That is why we will put it at directional. All right, guys, jockey is going to be manual. Now, this is the big debate. I have been talking about it since the start of the game. I made like four or five controller setting videos. I always talk about this. Yes, many pros are using tactical defending and many pros are also using advanced defending. But as I see it, advanced defending is the future of this game. You need to learn how to shoulder barge. It gives you an added advantage. It gives you this edge of how you want to approach the game. Sometimes you want to push the player off the ball with Van Dyke when you're running side to side. If you're spamming L2, then sometimes they don't win the ball. But if you do the shoulder barge, they will throw the player off the ball. You need to learn it. Many of my trainees come to me and ask, but we don't know how to use it. It's very simple, man. You watch real life football, the same rule applies. When you are side to side, next to the defender like this, if you are defending like this, head on, 1v1, do not use X because then you will end up looking like a clown. Only side to side when you are defending parallel. That is when you go with the shoulder barge. Pass block assistance, obviously with how AI assisted this game is, you want to use it on. However, I still believe that the shoulder barge is a bigger advantage to have than some AI assistance because it gives me more control over the player. And EA even added the intentional R2X intentional foul. So it will be R2X from the leaks I have seen. So like this is the direction the game is going to towards, right? So you want to have more control over your inputs rather than letting the AI decide it for you. 
auto switching on air balls and loose balls it has been like this since years auto switching move assistance i keep it at low i have tried none no i end up looking silly i always use low most players use none it is personal preference some things you have to try it out for yourself you cannot expect to copy and paste everything okay try it out for yourself classic player relative or ball relative obviously player relative man you want to make those deep switches you want to counter those glitches you want to be very quick with the way how we are looking at the custom tactic for the next game i feel the counter attacks are going to be even more overpowered and usually the predictions i make about the next game from the information i hear end up being true you can watch my previous videos and you will always see that i am spot on with these predictions use player relative right stick switching sensitivity now guys i have been trying five again because like i say i always try to adapt myself now this is the warm-up period for fc25 so i've been trying out five it's good i've tried it out at the start of the year i I've still go back to three i think three is more of a default feeling from previous fifas and it will be viable uh, next player switching closest to ball or classic guys i use closest to ball it is better for second man pressing so the player who is always closest to ball is going to go for the second man press and it is more consistent however i do know many players still prefer classic because it is what gives them that default feeling what is it is what they have been used to for years again try it out for yourself but if you ask me then i would suggest guys make this transition it is really worth it player lock obviously on if you do not use the player lock treat this time as a warm-up period learn the player lock i want you guys to constantly practice the player lock the time finishing use these mechanics so when you go into fifa 25 or fc 25 you're going to be really good icon switching off this is off this doesn't apply to online games trigger effect off and a look for the camera settings i have gone back to my default cameras for me that is 15 height zero zoom i was using telebroadcast default for the past four months now i think since april i was using that but i've gone back to this and another change i have made is that i have switched my monitor okay i was using a 27 inch monitor this one that you can see on your screen now i have switched to this one that you can see why guys i prefer a compact screen okay so this is like 25 inches and i think that is perfect i've been playing on a 27 inch monitor for three four years now but yeah just making this switch i feel even the gameplay feels better on a smaller screen and you can react quickly on a smaller screen the so smaller screens are always the best and if you're still playing on a tv what are you doing man get a, get yourself a monitor if you are serious about this game if you want to master crossing then i insist you to watch this crossing tutorial which you can see on your screen right it is linked up here however guys i also am telling you that crossing may not be as good in fc25 because if something is very good one year ea adds up changing it the next year that is why Focus on your fundamentals. Fundamentals are king, but if you still want results in this game, use crossing. It is free goals.